iPhone SE iOS 10.2 versus Samsung Galaxy Note 5 Android version 6.0.1. Let's go. So what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this iPhone SE versus Samsung Galaxy Note 5 comparison video. Now the reason I'm doing this is because the other day the iPhone SE took the Huawei SM to school and uh, the Galaxy Note 5 said why don't you step up to somebody who has a little bit more power under the hood and really why I'm doing this with the intentions is to help you guys to decide if you're going to pick up one of these devices which one's going to be the better one for you and also if you just like watching these videos for entertainment purposes that's cool too but anyways iPhone SE is rocking the latest version of iOS 10.2 and I also got an update I also did this iPhone SE versus Note 5 video before but the reason I'm updating this video is because the Note 5 had a security patch which made my device smoother and iPhone SE has 10.2 so now it's also smoother so let's go ahead and boot these guys up at the same time in three two let's go so yeah um, the Apple a9 should boot up faster here than the Galaxy Note 5 but the iPhone SE just really destroyed the Huawei SN the other day um, and the Note 5 was like you know what how are you gonna pick on one of my Android cousins over there the Ascend 2 why don't you step up to me and see how we how we play around these parts so the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 did lose which I expected on the boot up but man it was only slightly there now What's a little bit different about this comparison um, versus something like the 6S Plus that I have, and I will be doing this video soon because my SE has the TSMC processor. I don't know if you heard about Chipgate, hashtag Chipgate, but it's basically where Apple was manufacturing the A9 CPU with a TSMC processor as well as a Samsung processor. But this is the faster TSMC model here, or at least people think it's a little bit faster. I mean, I think it's a little bit faster. But let's go ahead and confirm that. So let's go into Lyrium Info right here. And let's go out of this ad real quick. And we're gonna go to this device and we're gonna go to CPU. And you're gonna see that this is manufactured here by TSMC here on the iPhone SE. So that's cool stuff there. Now I do wanna confirm one more thing on the SE, that we are running the latest version of iOS, which is 10.2. 10.3 should be coming very soon probably within a month or so but we'll be updating that but for now 10.2 14c 92 so for the galaxy note 5 over here i did get a security patch so there's nothing it's still going to say android version 6.0.1 but i did get a security patch and some bug fixes which made this device quicker so it was like this baseband version right here so my device is quicker than it used to be but it's still on 6.0.1 marshmallow rumored to get the nougat update if um, the Note 5 gets the Nougat update. I will be updating this video with an Android 7.0 Nougat update review for the Galaxy Note 5. But with that being said, let's see how this iPhone SE, you know, does against this Note 5. I talked a lot about the specs in the beginning of this video. But let's go ahead and start with the calendar. So 3, 2, let's go. And looks like the Note 5 right out of the gate wins that one. So SE's got him on the boot up test, but did not win the first app test. Let's go into calculator here. And you can see Note 5 once again, so 2.0 for the Note 5 here. Now the Note 5 does have, before I keep going with the speed test, the Note 5 does have an Exynos 7420 CPU, that's an octa-core CPU clocked in at 2.1 gigahertz, and it is just a boss. This has four gigs of RAM, so this is a beast of a smartphone here. It's not, you know, as fast as probably like the OnePlus 3T or the 27 or late 2016 model devices, but it's still a really quick phone. So let's go into clock here. And you can see the Note 5 look like once again here. And if I'm missing it, I'm not trying to be biased here. If I'm missing this, it's a little bit hard to see through the lens and through, you know, which one is faster because these are really close. It's not like the Note 5 is blowing it away. Let me know down below in the comment section. So you can see, let's go on the phone here on both. And that one looked like the SE. So it looks like about 3-1 to the Note. The SE just took that one. So let's go into settings here. And you can see that look like the SE right there. Let's come home. And the Note 5 goes home just slightly quicker. Now, if you turn on the animations on the Note like to 0.5 in the developer options, the Note 5 smokes the SE in terms of app opening. So let's go into the camera here. And you can see the SE was just quicker there on the camera. No doubt about it there. But I do believe the Note 5 destroys it in terms of camera quality on the rear. Let's go into the App Store and the Play Store. 
and you can see I was expecting the App Store to be a little bit quicker there on the SE because it is a better optimized App Store. I mean, Apple control software and hardware. So let's go home here and you can see about the same home. So these devices are pretty much dead even in terms of performance. The Note 5 just took it there on Instagram. Let's go to a sub menu. You can go ahead and follow me here on underscore Nick underscore Ackerman. I post technology posts and everything and anything that comes to my tech as well as an inspirational post. I got my link to this page down below in the description. I think you'll really enjoy the feed. So go follow me over there. And I do comment a lot on there. That's where I'm at if I'm not on YouTube. And um, over here, uh, play music. Let's go into, wait, I skipped one. Let's go into Temple Run here. So this is a game. Let's see how that does on the games. I'm not gonna do a gaming test here. I'm just gonna do an app test. So if you guys wanna see the SE versus the Note 5 in a full gaming test, like this same comparison, but in a gaming test, let me go. So I got an annoying ad here. So let me just cancel that. And um, so that wasn't really fair because of that annoying ad there. But you can see the Note 5 is still a pretty fast boot up here on the games, but I think the SE is a bit quicker there on Temple Run 2. Let's go into YouTube. Let's see what happens here. And let's go here. My videos, uploads. Note 5 a little bit quicker there. Let's go watch my latest video here. That looked like the Note 5 was a bit quicker. So a bit quicker on the YouTube application for the Galaxy Note 5. Let's go into play music here. Let's see what happens there. It looks like the SE took it. And that's funny because it's an Android phone. But the SE took it on play music. So you can see that the SE is a little powerhouse right here. Looks like, nope, the Note 5 took that one. So you guys count them up, but it's looking to me like the Note 5 is kind of winning here in terms of overall, you know, just application speeds. Now, I'm not talking like, you know, I'm not talking all of the applications. Like the games will be probably quicker on the SE, but it's looking like the Note is very, very quick and very highly, highly optimized to stack up against Apple's latest devices. And um, the Note has the Exynos CPU, so it's the Samsung inbuilt CPU, not that Snapdragon. So the Note 5 is actually sometimes quicker than even the S7 Edge due to that reason because the Snapdragon CPUs are not built by Samsung. But let's go ahead and go to Go. You can see right here. And there's videos online that shows the Note 5 being quicker than the, you know, the blow up phone, the Galaxy Note 7. So this is a quick phone over here. I'm not playing with you guys. So let's go home here. And it looked like that the Note 5 was slightly quicker on the browser test to Techno Buff. Let's go to Amazon here and see what happens here on the Amazon application. You could see that was about the same. It's really hard to see here. Let's go into eBay. They are so close. Looks like the SE took that one out. See, that was really close because the Note 5 showed it first, but content appeared first on the SE. But sometimes Apple, you can't scroll until it's fully loaded. I mean, this is so close. Let's go into the Pixel here. And you can see it looks like the Note 5 took that one. So what is the argument here or what is the moral of this, you know, iPhone SE versus Samsung Galaxy Note story here? I mean, look at the multitasking, blazing fast on both. I like the Note 5's card view better. It just, it's easier to find stuff in my opinion. But, you know, that's just a personal preference. That's my opinion. You don't have to agree with me there. But let's go ahead and do some multitasking before I close everything out there impulsively on the Note. Let's go into calendar. You can see the SE did hold that application better in the background. Let's go into Instagram here on both devices. And you could see, it looked like the Note held that one better. So once again, we're having a flip-flop here between the Note and the iPhone SE. Let's go into, let's go in a, did I do calculator? No, let's go into calculator. So SE took that one. So you can see it's a flip-flop. Sometimes the Note faster, sometimes the SE's faster. But overall, these devices are pretty much dead even in terms of everyday use. You're not going to really notice much of a difference. If you want a powerhouse device, any of the later Samsung Galaxy series devices such as, you know, the Note 5, the Galaxy S6, S7 Edge, any of these on the Android side will be powerhouse devices. Now, the iPhone SE is a powerhouse small phone, and you've seen it here. It can stack up against the best from Android, even though it doesn't have an amazing screen. It doesn't have an amazingly, you know, colorful screen like the P3 on the iPhone 7 or an AMOLED screen over here on the Galaxies. And it doesn't have, you know, probably expandable storage and stuff like that, but it's still a powerhouse. Anyways, go ahead and let me know which one you liked down below. Leave this video a like if you liked it. This is Nick here helping you master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next one and peace.